is life and where does it come from? These are questions that have puzzled human minds for thousands of years. And yet it's only in the last couple of centuries that we've come to discover what life is actually made of. Take me, for example. How is it that I'm alive? I can show you what I consist of, the chemicals that make up a standard issue human. You need 18 kilos of carbon, a small canister of nitrogen, 50 kilos of water, enough phosphorus to make 2,000 matches, the same amount of iron as a small nail, and around 20 other elements. Chemically, the two sides are identical. But biologically, we're completely different. Obviously, I'm alive. And the difference is that these exact same chemicals are organised into cells. 60,000 billion tiny, incredibly complex structures that make up my body. Quite simply, we are cells. Every time we breathe, we move, we think, cells do the work for us. Like all biologists, the more I find out about them, the more they amaze me. The idea that all living creatures, from amoebas to humans, are made up of cells is the cornerstone of biology. It's the theory of everything. Yet the story of how we came to understand the cell is rarely told. It's a fantastic voyage, delving deeper and deeper into an almost magical, unseen world. It's about nothing less than unlocking the mysteries of life itself. And for me, the story of the cell is the most powerful story in science. <laughs>